All right, my friends, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today is my 60-day update for the carnivore diet. So if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I've been I've been doing this for, well, technically today is 61 days. I should have made this video yesterday, but I was um, pretty busy doing a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, decided to watch a movie with Mama last night instead of, uh, <laughs> instead of making this video like I was supposed to. When it's one day, it doesn't matter. Um... 60 days eating nothing but meat well i actually had some cheese yesterday and today actually i had a little bit of cheese with uh with um i i, I wanted to try cheese and see if that was something that i could uh that, that i could incorporate into this carnivore diet because you know it's not for me it's not that it's getting boring to eat the meat it is it's it's more along the lines of um you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's not getting boring. I'm having I'm having a good time doing it. I'm still eating the eggs. I'm still eating the bacon. I'm still eating the steak. Uh, but tonight we went over to Costco because because uh, I, I I didn't tell you guys because she just started. Um, my wife she has agreed to start doing this too. She wants to do a little bit more keto vor. Um, she wants to be able to you know still have some of that stuff, but cutting out the sugar is like the big thing the main thing that you want to that you really want to achieve with this me personally because because of all the stuff i was eating i decided to just go strict carnivore all the way down cut it down to the bare minimum of of what i need for my body to be able to survive and that was and that's working wonders for me it's working great um, weight loss has kind of plateaued. I'm, I'm right at that 299 still since the last video. I, I, well, I, I think I made a video talking about how I got down to under 300 pounds. I'm, I'm still right there. Um, it's, it's not moving as fast. I've been to the gym a few times now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to the gym, uh, again. So, so those are like positive aspects of everything that I'm doing. I was going to go to the gym today, but then we went shopping. Um, I got a new game I need to cover tonight. Uh, it comes out tomorrow, so I'm so I'll be working on that. But over the course of and, and I will tell you, like having the channel, wanting to go to the gym, still working, still wanting to do all of this stuff, it is starting to feel like there's a lot more on my plate. To be completely honest with you, so it does feel a little bit more. And with this being like the end of the year. Um, all the holiday, all the traffic, all of that stuff, uh, it, it just feels good. So for those days that I cannot physically go to the gym because I have other things, I've got my dumbbells. I, I, I bought some resistance bands so that I could play around with those and, 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 and you know, and, and, and at least get a workout, even if I'm not able to actually go to the gym and physically work out. Because I believe for me, that is important. That is very important on this journey is to be able to consistently be able to stress my body, to work my body out, to be able to uh, utilize all this protein and all this uh, all this better food that I'm eating to be to be able to put it in there and and do something with it instead of just <laughs> instead of just surviving. I want to be able to utilize the nutrients and I want to be able to utilize everything that I'm putting in my body so that I can so that I can maximize my outcome and not, not necessarily speed the process up because that's that that's definitely not the way to look at this the way to look at like the carnivore diet or or any of these things that is pretty much like completely like zero carb cutting the carbs and everything out is you have to you have to change your mindset and that's been very important for me and that's helped me significantly during this time because there are times that are challenging where you're going to be like oh man like like a pizza sounds good or or some of that stuff like and, and and it's just in your mind you're not your body's not craving it like your body is completely at this point my body's completely forgot what all that other food tastes like so at this point right now my it's my mind my my mind that's like ooh, wouldn't it be nice to have a big cheesy pizza and i'm like no it wouldn't because it would make me feel terrible why we quit why 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 are you screwing with me mr brain like we're supposed to be we're supposed to be together on this but the thing is is once you can change your mindset from like eating food as like a and, and i've said this in the other videos too and and like this is my thing this is like why it's really st sticking with me and really helping is because i don't look at food anymore is a social aspect i don't look at food as a comfort thing i don't i don't look at the food 
in in that type of a way i look at it as a fuel to fuel my body so that i can do what i need to do i've been spending a lot less time eating um I, I i don't eat nowhere near as much as i used to um while it's getting colder outside i've i've started you know kind of moving away from the celsius you know to the to the just the black coffee and i'm okay with that we got some carry gold butter tonight that i can put in there <laughs> and, and it was cool like i i started telling this about like in the beginning like mama was 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 is getting on the diet with me and so we went to costco tonight and we bought like three different uh three different types of beef we got some uh, chuck roast and so i cut those into steaks i got eight steaks out of two roasts that's going to be awesome we went and bought a brand new knife so that i can cut it and everything um i think that's going to help us you know be able to cut down on 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 the money we're spending on it because now i got some big chuck steaks some pretty big ones like they're they're pretty nice and i and i i cut them a pretty decently i think i i got them about a half inch or whatever you know i got got a little bit of thick spots in there but then i was able to slice those off and then we got some uh some some tri-tips and then we also got some some uh flank steak or whatever uh the stuff that they make carne asada out of and and you know that you would use for uh fajitas and we're we're, we're kind of bringing the kids into it as well um at dinner time we're only going to cook the meat so so in order to help them with that we, we we got them some tortillas we got them some tor some tortillas so that they could eat the uh street tacos <laughs> uh very very cool idea mama came up with that idea and i was like yeah that that sounds really good you know because i personally believe and just over the last 60 days and seeing how my eating habits have have, have changed dramatically and and just the amount of food that i'm intaking as as opposed to what i used to eat you know i'd be snacking all day long i'd be hungry all the time but now i'm not i'm not hungry all the time i'm not snacking all the time i'm not i'm not feeling like oh my gosh i just need to fill fill my mouth with something i i'm 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 good and when i eat like i eat until i'm full and then i'm good i'm good until that next time when i need to eat and f for the most part i've been pretty good at being able to stay on on a, on a routine in 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 keeping my eating windows uh, my eating time's about the same, you know, every day. Um, being at work really helps with that. The last four days have been kind of weird, you know, because we had Thanksgiving and everything. And, and uh, <laughs> Thanksgiving was a breeze. Went through that. Didn't have any problems. Not eating anything else other than meat. I, I did have some turkey. That was kind of cool. But it absolutely did nothing for me. Just like chicken. Uh, you're you're going to have you're going to have your meats, man. Like if, if you're going to if you're going to try to do this on chicken, um, I, I really do wish you the best of luck. I, I, I do. I mean, like some people will probably be able to do it, but I, I think the chicken just does not. It, it, it never like it, it never makes me feel full the way that like red meat does uh, steak and steak is, is awesome. Like I, I like to have I like to have bacon in the morning. I like to have my eggs, my hard-boiled eggs. I've been like really, really loving the hard-boiled eggs lately. Th those are the thing that I'm taking to work with me now. I'll take like four of them with me, and that usually gets me all the way through the day now. And that's crazy, man, to like look back and see all the food that I would eat. I'd get like a, I'd get like a big old energy drink, and I would grab, you know, like I, and I was spending thirteen dollars a day on the on the food truck, man, getting like these these uh these big old sandwiches and, and and like just all kinds of stuff and i was just putting that in my body every day and now to think that i'm doing this on like five pieces of bacon and like four four um uh, four hard bo boiled eggs and and i'm feeling good and plenty of energy throughout the whole work day and i'm feeling good when i come home that to me is absolutely incredible i'm like wow dude this is this is crazy man like how can i eat such a, a, a small amount of food and feel you know completely satiated throughout the whole day and then i'll come home and i'll have either my ribeye um or my chuck steak you know we're, we're, we're gonna do the uh we're gonna do the chuck roast now for a while we're just gonna cut those up ourselves um until we can actually get ourselves to the point where we're like okay yeah because because i was looking at like the the whole thing of ribeye over at costco and it was like 230 something bucks and i'm just like oh man I could probably get a lot of steaks out of that. I could probably get a good a good amount of them. I probably get like 18 out of that. But I mean, if I'm spending like just that on that, I mean, if I got those and I got like my two cartons of eggs, like the the, the big eggs at Costco, you know, my 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 butter, um, and and then like my bacon. 
that between me and my wife, if that got us to like two and a half weeks or something, you know, with, with the amount of steaks, because I mean, there's two of us and we're going to be eating one of those every night. And, I've, and and that's more than enough to have one of those steaks every night. See, I'm, I'm just doing the math, you know, trying to figure this out, how, how we're going to do it before we proceed. So I figured, you know, right now we're a little bit broke after, after Black Friday. We're just doing the Chuck Steaks this week. We're going to try to get through this week with that. We got some hamburger. We got some... Uh, those tri tips and we got some um and we and we got the other the other uh flake steaks or whatever so that's pretty good she's doing we're both doing the boiled eggs in the morning um and she's like she has like the uh not necessarily the strict you know carnivore like i'm doing she she's got more of the uh you know if i if i decide to eat a salad i'm not going to punish myself and you know as long as we're like zero sugar i think i think that's fine like that's that's more than acceptable for her to even you know jump on board and try that i i think that's awesome um <clears throat> i do still think that like your first two weeks on the carnivore diet you should strictly be just just meat just meat just just eat until you feel satiated just eat till you feel full every single time and then let your body switch over and then once you've switched over, then you can like be like, OK, and, and then introduce like one thing back at a time. Like say say you want to have a salad like on like one or two days a week, eat just a salad, see how it makes you feel. See if you can continue to uh, um, <clears throat> see if you'll be able to continue to experience all the benefits of all the autoimmune diseases and stuff that are going to instantly go away. They're just going to like fade away into like no, no like not be in there. Make sure it's not going to mess with your energy levels, your, your, your newfound energy levels. Make sure that, you know, you give yourself a 16 hour break between, you know, when you eat that salad till till the next meals to give your body more than enough time to get rid of that, um, to, to completely work that through your system so that you can, uh, get back onto that, you know, try to, try to find ways. If you're, if you're gonna, if you're gonna utilize other things, try to find ways that are going to be beneficial to you. Like don't deny yourself what you want to have, but at the same time, because once you start denying yourself, then, then you're going to hate it. You, you, you're going to hate trying to do carnivore, but if you can find a way to work in the stuff that you absolutely think you have to have, which, which I, I don't necessarily think you need it. I think that you can 100% survive on me. I've been doing it for 60 days now. I feel incredible. I don't have the, um, I don't have any of the issues that I used to have and, and I've been feeling better every single day, but there are some days that there are some days where, where uh where, where your body will start doing the oxalate dumping and you 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 won't feel as sick as you did before but you will like you'll notice that you're that you're feeling a little bit off but the best remedy for that is a little bit more water and some more fat make sure you're doing make sure you're doing a good amount of fat i went through like the first while of the doing this without consuming a, a, enough fat and i and i would see my energy levels you know kind of fade out you know toward the end of the day or whatever but now that i'm getting enough fat like my energy levels are far more consistent and and i feel better because of it like i feel better i have better mobility um less brain fog like i, I feel good i feel um <clears throat> i feel I'm, and, and I know a lot of people say this, like, I know you hear this a lot from a lot of people, a lot of other content creators that they, they, they feel good. They feel like they, they're, they're more alert. They feel more lively. And that is true. That is absolutely true. I mean, if you would have seen the person that I was before I started doing carnivore, you know, the, the, the person in between the videos, because I've been making videos for almost three years now, but if you have seen the person in between those videos, you know, like pulling myself up, sitting here trying to make a video, snorting all the time, you know, halfway through the videos and stuff, like you would understand that like, yes, this guy has went through significant changes. You can go back and watch my older content. Like you can go back and watch and see just how how dramatic the change has been just since I started doing this carnivore diet though, um, 60 days ago. That first couple of weeks, I kind of just kept it to myself, you know, because I, I didn't know if it was something that I was going to stick with. But now that I'm 100% committed to this and I greatly appreciate the benefits, the physical benefits, the physio physiological benefits, the, uh, the, the, um, the metabolic benefits, the, uh, the autoimmune, like my, my, my autoimmune system, um, not, not having those, those issues anymore. Like those right there to me are far more important than losing a little bit, a little bit of weight, because as long as I have the energy, the, the weight's going to come off. 
As long as I don't have the joint pain, <clears throat> the weight is eventually going to come off. As long as I don't have the headaches, I'm going to have a good day and I'm going to feel better. I'm going to have, I'm not going to be depressed or angry or anxious. As long as I continue to have the benefits that I receive from eating the meat, those other things, those other benefits are going to continue to evolve and they're going to get stronger. They're going to get better. I'm going to lose more weight. As long as I have the energy to get myself to the gym, I'm going to build muscle mass. I'm going to be able to retrain my body. I'm going to be able to strengthen my core and, and I'm going to be a lot better for that because of the but because of the decision I made to, to, to change my life. And I'm passionate about this. I am, but I don't want to bore you guys with it with another, you know, carnivore video every single day on my gaming channel because this this is a gaming channel and 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 I like to cover video games, but I also like to help my 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 community find new ways to to maximize their life and and to be better, to be happy. I try I try to bring positivity to this community and I try to help everybody and I buy I buy a lot of video game stuff and I buy a lot of stupid stuff and I and I spend a lot of money you know, trying to help people find something. And, you know, this is one of those things where I can help you without having to spend a ton of money. And cause I'm just spending pretty much maybe a little more sometimes, maybe a little bit less than I was already spending eating all that junk food. So this is something that is, is act is act <laughs> is actively helping me and strengthening me that I want to share with you that I want to help you find, um, Maybe, maybe even, maybe even carnivores not for you. Maybe, maybe it's not for you, and that's fine. Like, I, I'm not trying to pressure anybody into like taking this as their way of life. But I'm telling you that like the benefits that you can get within 30 days, the the benefits that I got within 30 days, might be worth trying. Might be worth your, you know, like might be worth investigating on your own and seeing if that would work for you. Maybe, maybe, maybe do it. See how your body feels. And then, and then decide, you know, like, Hey, is this something that I would really want to pursue more? Cause, cause I don't think that you're going to really understand the benefits of it. If you do it for a week, I don't, I don't think you're going to really understand the benefits of it. If you do it for two weeks, because like by the time two weeks had rolled by, I would, I was already feeling like, I mean like, yeah, I was obviously feeling better, but it wasn't like, it wasn't sinking in yet. Like I didn't really understand that. Like, Whoa, this has changed. It was 19 days before I realized that my shoulder wasn't in pain anymore. It was over two weeks that I realized that, man, I'm sleeping better. I'm waking up early and I'm feeling re refreshed. It's all of the little things that will start to happen within like that 30 day span that you'll be able to understand more the longer you stay on it. Now, 30 days, I feel like is, is a very significant life change. That's enough time to lose up to 25 pounds in water weight. That's enough time to um, start to to heal your gut biome to to see that your um, to see that your dietary and everything is going to be significantly better, much improved. Um, that's enough time for you to start to heal some of the autoimmune diseases that you that you might that you might be experiencing. That's enough time for you to get rid of the inflammation that that's in your joints. It, 30 days is exactly enough time for your body depending on where you are in 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 your in your life. I mean, if you've got a significant amount of weight to lose, it might take a little bit longer for these things to start kicking in. But if you're if you if you're if you're just starting to get out of shape or you're just out of shape, you know, you've got, you know, an extra 100 pounds on you, you know, you're a taller person like I am. I, I do think that 30 days is more than enough time for you to start to feel and see the benefits of getting on the carnivore diet. And I believe that once you see and feel what I feel, it, it would be it would be really hard for you to be like, yeah, I'm going to go back to that like it, it would. And, and the longer you stay on it and the more you experience, I, I think the harder it's going to be for you to be like, yeah, I think I'm going to go. Because if you felt the way I felt going through life, going to work, trying to do everything and, and just feeling completely like asked out all the time. And then you finally have this energy that, that lets you push beyond things that like do things that you were doing when you were in your twenties. I think that that will completely change your mindset to at least, you know, being a lot more careful with what you put into your body. And <laughs> is, as much as, as much as I love the way sugar used to taste, gosh, man, that stuff is so addicting. 
And it takes so long to break that habit. But once you start doing this, once you start doing the meat and you're eating the salt and you're in your um and you're utilizing, you know, all the all the tools that you can and you just eating meat pretty soon your body will 100% quit craving any kind of sugar like you will that 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 will go away pretty fast and and your uh and your new your new craving system for fat and everything will kick in and you will not crave that stuff your body will know exactly what it wants and your body will do the best job it can with that and and that's that's an incredible benefit that you that you receive um just by switching over just by you know taking it slow getting on there um, obviously you're going to, you're, you're going to shed the water weight pretty quick and that's going to be like, oh yeah, that's awesome. And then, and then obviously it's going to plateau like it did with me. Um, I'm, I like, I don't think I lost any weight last week. I, I think that I pretty much stayed right at, you know, just at 299, um, give or take a pound or two. Sometimes it'll be like, a, like a pound heavier. I'll be back in the 300s, but usually that's just if I, if I consume a lot of water during that day. But once you get to the point where you've lost all that water weight and you start to feel like you're plateauing, remember that the other benefits are also equally more important than than just losing the weight. With the other benefits, you'll be able to lose the weight. You have to have the energy to move your body to be able to do some of that stuff. And I'm not telling you to go work out. I'm just saying that working out is going to help you distribute that those nutrients into your body a, a lot better i i believe anyways because i mean if, if you're working out you're, you're you're breaking down your tissue you're rebuilding it back you're you're utilizing that that protein to to be able to help build those muscles back stronger more lean um definitely a lot better so these are just things that you can use tools that you can use along the way to help your journey get even better and yeah, some days it gets a little bit hard. Um, you, you'll be you'll be thinking about like some of the other foods and stuff that you used to eat. But if you just stay strong, the benefits will will one hundred. Like you won't think about the stuff long when you're at the store. You'll be like, oh, that looks good, and then you'll be like, oh, never mind. And like it really it really doesn't last long at all. Like you, I, I don't ever crave any kind of sugar. It's it's always a subconscious thing when I see it at a store. I'm like, oh boy, I want a donut or something. You know what I mean? Like you do not crave it. I don't ever think about it. Ever think about sugar? I don't have the um, the sugar dreams or any of that kind of stuff anymore. Like it, it's just it's just the meat. That that's that's all that I'm thinking about. You know, and and I'm not even really thinking about that. I'll be like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm hungry. Maybe I should eat something. But I keep on such a tight schedule for the most part for my eating windows and everything that. That um, <laughs> that that I'm never really hungry. I, I'm never really hungry. I'll come home. I'm, I'll cook my food. I'll make it, and then and then I'll be able to then I'll be able to eat it, and and then I'm fine. Like I I don't sit and crave a whole bunch of food. So, all right, my friends, this is day number sixty one of the carnivore diet. I'll touch back with you guys on day seventy. I'll get you guys another video, or if something amazing miraculous happens in between, then I'll I'll throw you another video. But yeah, I'm trying to keep these about ten days so that so that i can um so that so that i can have time to see more benefits and so that i can see you know what's going on so after another you know 10 days of you know working out and all of that stuff we'll start to see if i'm starting to get muscle gain like i am starting to feel um a lot better in in, in my overall my overall physique my physique is looking a lot better so i'm generally really happy with the uh with the progress i've made on my body and being able to still do the channel, being able to still go to work, being able to still, you know, um, be passionate about the carnivore thing. I've, I've, I really want to, I, re I really want to help the people that watch this channel. I want you guys to watch these videos. I want you guys to see this and I want you guys to understand. I want you to do more research. I want you to watch other people and listen to their stories and, and believe that this is, this is something that can help you and, and help repair your body and bring you out of that, that, that 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 like brain fog that everybody suffers from because you will feel more clarity you like you will have more clarity you'll 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 instantly change and then you'll be like wow this is incredible and then you've got to find a way to distribute that energy in a positive way that's going to continue to keep you on that track and keep you moving forward um, and, and, and it gets easier every day. I promise you it, it, it absolutely does. So if you guys like this content, don't forget to like, and subscribe and, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. And thank you for watching this.